みなさんこんにちはクリナです。今日は白川郷に来てます。白川郷で外国人をつかめてインタビューをしたいと思います。じゃあ今からすぐにやりましょう。Uh, my name is Lena. Nice to meet you all. I'm from Germany. Could you tell me your names and where you're from? Maybe we'll start with.、Uh, you. My name is Akanksha and Akanksha. I'm from India. You're from India. My name is Arun. I'm also Arun. from India. And? Alina, I'm Nikhil from India too. Okay. Is it your first time, second time, third time? So it's the first time for me and him. Okay. And This is my second time. Okay.、Um, why did you decide to come to Japan in the first place?、Mm. I'm an architect. I've always been、oh. fascinated、uh, by Japanese architecture. It's very different, it. right? Yes. yes. So I think modern was... or traditional? I think all of it. Okay,、yeah. cool. Especially the transition from the old to the new, it's just lovely.、Mm-hmm. So I think that was my reason. Uh huh.、Two. And then you?、Oh, we、too? were simply planning a trip in India, and then he jumped in. He said, "Let's go to Japan," and we were like, "Okay, that also sounds nice."、So、<laughs> we are here. <laughs> okay, cool. And how long have you already been here? It's been more than a week. Okay, cool. And where have you been? Maybe you answer. Yeah, so we were in Tokyo for about three, four days,、uh-huh. and after that、uh, we went to、uh, like we were in Takayama for two days. Okay. And、uh, yesterday we went to Hida Folk Village. Even okay. That is really nice. Yeah. How does it compare to Shirakawa Go? So this is more scenic view. In Hida Folk Village, you get to see the Japanese culture, how people used to live in the villages, and how and what all objects they used to use. So you know、mm-hmm. that way we got to know a lot more about Japanese in the Hida Village. Yeah, that's true. Very nice. Okay.、Um, what about Japanese food? There is like so many street food things around here. Did、so、you eat a lot? <laughs> Two of us are vegetarians. Oh, <laughs> how is that going? Oh, wow. Amazing.、Uh, <laughs> and I'm actually a converted vegetarian, so I was a non-vegetarian, and then I turned into a vegetarian. Okay. Now, but yeah, I, it has been a challenge. But、uh, if you look enough, I think you can always find something to eat. So. Okay. So what did you eat today? Oh, we just had a fried、uh, vegetable tofu, which、okay. was yummy. Yes. Nice. Yes. Very good. Okay. So you said randomly decided to come to Japan, more or less.、Uh-huh. Did you do any kind of research in advance about Japan before coming here? Oh,、Culture、absolutely. Or... <laughs> There were like two, three-hour long video calls on all of our friends, just deciding where to go, strategizing which places near to the bus station or maybe the train station. <laughs> so a lot of time investment went into this trip, and I think we planned it brilliantly because so far everything has been going so wonderfully well. Oh, that's so good to hear. <laughs> Did you have no troubles? Any anything、uh, that didn't go as planned? Not really.、Or? Not really. <laughs> Planning has been amazing, and then、okay. yeah. Thanks to、Great. the planner here. <laughs> okay, you already knew what to expect. Sort of,、yeah. But last time when I was here, I only only went to Tokyo and probably a day in Kyoto. So this is new for me as well. Okay. But there is a little bit of familiarity, so I think that、mm-hmm. really helped in the planning aspect of this trip. Okay. So where you're from in India? How is the weather, and how does it compare? Uh, wow! So all three <laughs> of us are from the north of India. Okay. And it gets cold. Okay. But it's definitely not as cold as this. Okay.、Uh, okay. This transition is just <laughs> a little bit tough. Too much.、Yes. <laughs> yeah. um, but are you enjoying the snow or?、Oh, it's lovely. I witnessed my first snow in Japan itself. Oh really? Okay. Not in okay. India. It was、okay. super fascinating. We were roaming around, dancing a lot. It was great. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I think today is especially lovely. The weather. Oh, it is. Very cold though, but. So you've been here for around a week. Is there anything you're going to miss when you go back home?、Um, yeah. Yes. Yeah. So walking around. So、yeah. you know you won't believe, but before coming to Jap- Japan, we actually bought a treadmill and we practiced to walk ten thousand steps every day <laughs> because we some this guy told us that you have to walk twenty five thousand steps in a day. Walking here is fun because. It is pedestrian friendly, and yeah, you know the car stops for you, and it、mm-hmm. feels good because in India it it is opposite. <laughs>、uh, okay, okay, I see. Yeah. So, but are you going to miss that? You want to walk more if it was possible Walking at all? Walking in a in a beautiful city like Japan, Tokyo, you know Takayama,、mm-hmm. so that, everything is so beautiful, so different, and you know we for for me it is more of a cultural exploration trip, not just tourism, because.、Mm-hmm. Japan's culture is a lot different here. Yeah. When you go to a, even a small grocery store, everything is automatic. Self-checkout. Oh you know, yeah, yeah, for, yeah. For yeah, me, yeah. that's quite new. Yeah. Uh huh. 
Did so you figure it out? Was it okay? Yeah, yeah. It's pretty <laughs> user friendly, so yes. not an issue at all. Yeah, that's true. You wanted to be honest oh, about okay. something. <laughs> I want to take back the toilet seat. <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes! Yes, we you're not the so only totally one. Table. Totally, totally. <laughs> yes. It's fine. You're not the only one. We've yeah. interviewed a lot of people, and many people say that Japanese toilets are the best oh, toilets I, in I the mean, world. <laughs> they're everywhere, they're clean, they're warm, they. Yeah. So convenient. Make sounds. They're so nice. There's a privacy nice. mode. <laughs> yes, <laughs> quite, exactly. It's quite interesting. <laughs> exactly. So what are you going to miss when I, you go back home? I, I think it's the convenience that Japan has to offer overall, yeah. which I'm going to miss because sometimes life can get a little tough and inconvenient. But when you walk around here also, I understand that the context is very different. I am here for cultural exploration like Nikhil also said. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a completely different thing that we are doing. But yeah, I mean, the convenience of everything having around you, things like 7-Eleven and Lawson and Family Mart, which yes. is always open. You can always yes, just right? step in to grab a bite and the subways are just super, it's a very different language, you don't read it, but even then the systems of finding are so nicely designed mm -hmm. that you can just get in. So it's really convenient and that's that's probably something that I'm going to miss a lot. Yes. Yeah. So we, we've been to India before, yeah. but we were only there for like five days. But what we realized is just like, it's very chaotic. We tried to buy a SIM card and we tried to get train tickets the first couple of days and it was such a challenge. <laughs> Everything in India was such a challenge. Did you, did you get the ticket? Or? We did, uh, <laughs> but it took three days. Uh, it's uh, just to sort of make you feel a little bit better. It's not any different for us. <laughs> okay, just really? the same things. <laughs> So I think that's something that Japanese people should be aware of when yeah. they travel to, to okay. India, yeah. that it's very different from traveling. We have one more Japan. friend joining. Ah, oh, hello. The northeast part of India. Okay, so she he... come. Hello, welcome. Hi, welcome. Uh, we are talking about your experiences in Japan. And um, did is there something that you're going to miss when you go back home? Oh, the warm toilet seat. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. How, how very thoughtful, like very the design, like it's just very human. Mm -hmm. You know, like yeah. you go somewhere and it's just there's the right thing right mm -hmm. there. You know, mm -hmm. I think that's that's okay. something I'll miss in India. Yeah, it's almost <laughs> as if there's a reason for it to exist. It's, yeah, that's yeah. true. Yeah, that's true. Like, like everything is very yeah. organized. Just, like, um, did you have any kind of interactions with Japanese people and how did that go? Yeah, I think we did. She, she had a really interesting uh, interaction with two elderly, uh -huh. elderly Japanese uh, women. Maybe you would like to talk about when, that. When did that happen? They were, they were, they were praising your eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, so oh, we okay. were, um, where were we? Eating a we Chinese were eating in a Chinese okay. restaurant. In Asakusa, yeah. Okay. In Asakusa, yeah. yeah. And uh, we were uh, having sake. And there oh, were two nice. very sweet ladies. She just pointed out and said that sake three you. <laughs> I think that was a big culture shock for them. And then eventually they tried to be nice to me and they said, "Your eyes are big. Your eyes are like, thank you." <laughs> yeah, that was sweet. Yeah, that's super sweet. Did yeah. you drink all of that sake? No. <laughs> But do you like uh, Japanese sake in general? It was very nice. Uh, first time yeah. trying it? Yeah, it was okay. nice. Yeah. Uh, how about you guys? Did you enjoy alcohol? No. Yeah, not yeah that sake much. is like very the different. thing for me now. Yes? I'm going to order from Amazon in India. <laughs> really? Okay, Definitely. you enjoyed it. Yeah. Okay, nice. Great. And how about you? I don't drink. So. You don't drink. Yeah, so okay. Green tea. Well, green tea. Green tea is very good yeah, here, right? Yes. Matcha tea. Matcha ice cream. Matcha. Matcha. Oh, and there are so many places here that sell ice cream. And, yeah. and yeah. he so had some ice cream earlier and I was like, it's too cold to eat ice cream, but it's so good. Oh my God. <laughs> Every day, yeah. and then also matcha. <laughs> matcha ice cream every day. It doesn't yes. matter where it's cold or snowing. But it's, it's tough. <laughs> it's good, but it's so cold. True, yeah. <laughs> Have you already been to the observation deck? Yes. yes. Did you like the view? Yeah, it's amazing. I think yeah. we, we also wanted to see how it will look in summers, but yeah, but I've been here in time. summer. It's really nice. Yeah. I can really recommend coming back here in summer because everything is green. green yeah. Yes. So there's rice fields, fields all around and then with the brown houses, it looks very nice just to walk around down here, but it's also really, really nice from definitely. up there. So come back in summer. Definitely. <laughs> um, have you traveled to other Asian countries in the past? You know what? I think 
the country that we come from is so big and diverse yes that maybe we haven't had the chance to at least i don't <laughs> i haven't had the chance to actually go out and explore india japan yeah so i think this is the second time and i think i probably will be traveling to another southeast asian country mm-hmm. in the coming future soon mm-hmm. but not before okay. i mean i don't really but i think some of us have and to give you a uh, fact that you know we four come represent the diverse india yes. he is a christian i am a hindu he is a buddhist oh. and he's from sick that's so, so nice <laughs> that's so and, nice you know we have been together for so long and we we never talk about religion and this is the first time we you know we interacted on this topic and then suddenly oh we we four are from <laughs> so diverse oh. part of the country oh i love that i love that so much because usually like those kind of like cultures or um don't mix that yeah. well yeah. and yeah i i really i'm we, i'm happy we three uh, studied together in a design college and mm-hmm. i am the bad okay. and she's and my and the wife uh, <laughs> i am the wife you're the wife <laughs> okay that's that's really cool um what do you think about the japanese religion um i mean they have buddhism here as well but uh, they have shinto which is like yeah. just japanese kind of religion have you visited some shrines or yeah in asakusa we mm-hmm. we, uh, we that's went to the bu- buddhist temple that's a buddhist, buddhist temple, temple but, but yeah, yeah. I think to be honest we have visited any Shinto shrine as of now maybe okay. we would probably when we go back to Tokyo or even in Kyoto Kyoto, 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 Kyoto is a good a place to do that so yeah uh, but yeah so not really <laughs> okay. to yeah I about it actually <laughs> <laughs> yeah. okay so it's not really that big of a not the goal for this goal. trip yeah i think it would be I think it would be a shame for me to say that it's food for me. <laughs> I don't really eat meat. But uh-huh. uh, yeah, I think it's just to look and see explore the culture. culture has to offer. Actually the animes you know yeah. pokemon you like it? yeah we yeah. we are like what is that called that machine oh, where I'm you put like coins and really balls come the out the gacha bone yeah, yeah that, they are cool <laughs> we have like explored at least 10 of those so far <laughs> oh, every wow. time something new comes out it's a mm-hmm. great experience Silent. every time a new machine comes up all of them run in an opposite direction and i towards the machine Because and they drag me back <laughs> <laughs> are you going to keep all of the things that you got out or are you going to give them as I'm gifts to, to friends to okay friends. that's very so nice they also experience a part of japan exactly so it's perfect souvenirs yeah, and true. everything yeah. that's awesome thank you so much thank for you. your time that was a lot of fun thank, thank you arigatou gozaimasu <laughs> have fun exploring <laughs> hi nice to meet you my name is lena nice i'm from germany you. Uh, what's your name and where are you from? Um, I'm Alina. I'm also from Germany. Nice to meet you. And how long have you been here in Japan? I've been in Japan for about a week and a half. Okay. And what have you been up to? Uh, I was in Tokyo for about a week and a <laughs> bit more. Yeah. And then I went to Nikko. Okay. And then I took the bus to Nakayama. Okay. Cool. And now you're on a day trip to Shirakawa. Uh, yes. Okay. Cool. What was your main reason to come to Japan? at Japan probably the culture. Mhm. What about the culture? Uh the food. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> food, the religion, mm-hmm. just the people and uh also like the social culture of Japan. Mm-hmm. You no, know, everything just pretty interesting about Japan. Uh-huh. Have you had any kind of interactions with Japanese people? Uh, I did a few free walking tours. Okay. Tokyo. Uh-huh. So How were they? they were usually by locals. Mhm. So they taught us a lot about Japan and about the social background about the history about mm-hmm. everything was there anything that surprised you uh a lot <laughs> <laughs> anything you remember i remember that uh people in japan don't really interact with each other when they go out in public ah yes so it's like kind everyone of for hard. themselves <laughs> everyone for themselves and like when you go out partying i think for you and me it's pretty common to just i don't know when you're out in the group then you kind of go and meet other people in a bar for example mm-hmm. but in Japan they kind of stay in their little groups yes and dating is also pretty hard that's why all the <laughs> like host clubs existed and he taught us a lot about the host clubs really yes. <laughs> i don't think i know very much about japanese host clubs that was a very interesting topic <laughs> uh, yeah okay have you tried dating here no not in my one and a half weeks <laughs> <laughs> well there are a lot of i feel like there are a lot of travelers who like try tinder in japan just you know to see how it goes i guess uh, no so, i haven't done that yet no i don't have any experience either but yeah have you traveled to any other asian countries uh, i have been to the philippines mm-hmm. uh, before i went to japan 
how does it compare? Um, in the Philippines, nothing is organized, nothing <laughs> works. In Japan, it's a total difference. <laughs> also, temperature, it's snowing here. Philippines, yes. 30 degrees, islands. Oh my god, I would prefer <laughs> Philippines right about now, I think. <laughs> I wasn't, but I was staying in Australia for like three months before. Mm -hmm. So I kind of want like a drastical change. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. What was kind of in your life, your first co contact with Japan? Uh, maybe in your childhood or do you remember anything? Uh, first contact with Japan. I don't know, I just always like found it was interesting. Mm -hmm. And like in middle school, I think I knew a guy that was living in Japan and he was small and he was told really cool stories about it. Mm -hmm. Cool. So you were um, kind of influenced by that person maybe a little bit. Yeah, about. also by people that just traveled to Japan and then mm -hmm. told stories. They sound pretty nice. Cool. Did you have any troubles while traveling here in Japan or did everything go well? Everything worked out well, I would say. Mm -hmm. So no troubles at all. Okay. This country is pretty organized. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think as a German person, we're kind of, I don't know, <laughs> Deutsche Bahn. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Actually, when I was here and I would, like posted on Instagram that I wanted to like take a train, and all of my friends were like, yeah, how late was it? <laughs> <laughs> See, that's the default for us. <laughs> yeah. Did you buy any kind of souvenirs? anything not yet i really want to uh, i have to expensive. hold myself back with shopping as well because i have like the 60 liter backpack and it's like okay first Gets thing heavy, already heavy. <laughs> yeah. okay so maybe um not buying something but is there anything like a concept or like a way of thinking that you learn about here in japan that you would like to take home with you a way of thinking yes uh, not really so maybe far cultural aspects or something that is that exists here in Japan and you would like to take back with you like other people said they would like to take back the Japanese toilets because they are so nice exactly. yeah and of course and yeah. Whatever. <laughs> so in Germany I live in Berlin mm -hmm. and kind of like Tokyo for example compares to which Berlin it's kind of like a nicer Berlin if everything would work out <laughs> to be honest so yeah probably that just a well organized well organized aspect What's your impression of Japanese people? Um, so very polite, mm -hmm. very well behaved. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I don't know, I, when you go out, they kind of all have a crazy side, so that's kind of funny. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> But you said you had um, contact with the uh, Japanese guides for the free walking tours. Yeah. Uh, what were they like? They were very uh, into their religion. Mm -hmm. And they told us that they like never do anything really wrong, because they always have the the feeling that the spirits are watching, and that's kind ah, of like the I thing see. why they don't do anything bad. Mm -hmm. Okay, that makes sense. Always very polite, very open. Mm -hmm. Cool, nice. Thank you so much for awesome. your time. <laughs> awesome. Thank, Thank you very much. ということで、今日は外国人にインタビューできました。面白い話がありましたでしょうか。何が面白かったかをコメントでぜひ教えてください。この動画が楽しかったなら、ぜひいいねボタンを押してください。チャンネル登録もよろしくお願いします。それではまた次の動画でも会いましょう。バイバーイ。